What's up guys? The deadlift. It's an amazing exercise when done properly. But at the same time, it can be very dangerous when done the, right, the wrong way. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you the don'ts. This is what you don't wanna do when you're doing a deadlift. I'm gonna show you the over under grip that is commonly used when I walk into the gym and I see a lot of gym members doing deadlift and they have uh, the under and over grip. Now, the reason why this grip is not proper and is very dangerous when it comes to injury is because anytime you turn your wrist forward, what's happening when you pull in the weight, there's gonna be a lot of stress on your biceps facing forward. And because your grip is under and not over, your shoulder is gonna overlap a little forward, your left hip is gonna drop down a little, your left knee, your left ankle is also gonna drop a little bit down a little. So what this is gonna do is gonna put a lot of stress all on the left side of your body. And this long term is gonna cause muscle imbalance. So you're gonna power too much on your left side and you're leaving your right side lacking. And also because of the angle of your shoulder, you're gonna put a lot of stress on your labrum. The one thing I hear when most guys are doing deadlifts and using this grip is because they wanna lift heavier. They wanna deadlift a lot, a lot of heavier weight. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that, but if you're a bodybuilder or you're trying to build muscle, your goal is to build muscle, not to lift as much weight as you can. This grip is very, very dangerous. This is gonna throw your body off and you're gonna put more stress on one side of your body more than the other side. So I'm gonna come back a little bit and step over this bar, set up this bar here. So what's gonna happen once I come down and grip under on my left and over on my right, so immediately I pull up, I can feel my left bicep stretching. Um, and I can also feel, even though I try to stabilize my body and center my body as much as I can, I can feel the load more on my left side. And I actually, I've seen a torn biceps in the gym. There was a guy deadlifting, I think he was deadlifting over, you know, over 400 pounds and it looks like a bodybuilder. And as he grabbed the weight off the floor and he just, I just saw a pop from the lower side of his biceps and the biceps came over and came up and go, went on his shoulder muscle. So please, if you are a bodybuilder, you know, I'm not talking to powerlifters or strength athletes out there. If you're, a power lift, if you're a bodybuilder and your goal is to build muscle, balance muscle, not imbalance muscle. Please don't use the over under grip. Use the conventional over over grip. Now the reason why you should train, use this grip, is because I believe as a bodybuilder and an athlete, that you should train the way your body is designed. If I put my arms down this way, if you can see my palm, they're facing my quads. My one side of my palm is not rotating forward and I'm not walking around this way. I'm walking around and my arms are down on my side and I'm walking around, my palms are basically facing towards me and not one side going forward or the other's going backwards. They're all even, so when you grip, and step back on the bar again. So what you wanna do is make sure you do your over, over grip. That way you're gonna be balanced. That way you're gonna be centered. That way you can pull the bar from the floor evenly. You know, the best way you can is to grip the bar evenly. Now I'll pull off and I come up. I can't, I can't feel the stress on my biceps at all. I'm just really feeling the pull from the lower side to the top. So please, in my opinion, do not use the over under grip because it is way too dangerous. It's gonna eventually create muscle imbalance and it's gonna put a lot of stress on your biceps, your elbows, your shoulders, your hips, your knee, and your ankle going towards one side. And one more quite one more thing that I want to say. If when you're doing bicep curl, you have your hand, your palms pronated doing bicep curl. You're not holding on to the bar this way. 
So if you don't do your bicep curls or when you're doing squats, you don't have one leg turned backward and the other leg turned forward. You're training your body the way your body is designed. So in my opinion, while doing the deadlift, please eliminate the over under grip. Please stop the madness. The goal is to build muscle, not to put yourself at risk of injuring yourself. So please stick to the over over grip and not over under grip. Well guys, that is my take when it comes to the deadlift and using the proper grip. There's no one, you know, the taller you are obviously, the more you have to wind your hands away from your body and the shorter you are, the more you keep your hand placement a little bit closer to your body. So that's my take. I want to thank you all for watching my videos, your positive comments, and everything that you're saying about my YouTube channel and helping my YouTube channel grow. I really appreciate everything that you've done and telling your friends about my channel and helping grow my channel. I'm not satisfied yet. We still want to make Miami Muscle the number one fitness channel on YouTube. So there you have it guys. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you're already a subscriber, hit that bell below and I'll notify you every time I post a new video. So this is Miami Muscle, Mojio Lua, signing out. I'm gonna go back to my deadlift. <laughs>